Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over the best trick to remember the unit circle coordinates. Okay, so here we have a um, copy of the unit circle completely filled out. If you like a, a copy, a PDF version of the unit circle, just look in the description for the link. Now one difficulty that students might have is in remembering the unit circle coordinates. Okay, so these coordinate numbers, they repeat themselves in all four quadrants with just the alternation of the signs. So what is a great way to remember what this uh, um, unit circle coordinate values are? Okay, so an easy way to remember it is just to consider the following list of numbers so these are the following numbers we're going to look at. We're just going to simply count from 4 to 0. So 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay? So the following steps I'm going to show you will basically help you to determine what the x um, coordinate values are and then we'll just reverse the order to generate the y coordinate values for the first coordinate, the first quadrant um, of the unit circle. Okay, so in order to generate the x coordinate values, what we're simply going to do is we're going to take these numbers, we're going to take the square root of these numbers and divide by 2. That's all we're going to do, and then you'll see how the um, results are. Okay, so let's start by taking the square root of the numbers. So we take the square root of all these numbers, we are looking at the square root of 4, the square root of 3, the square root of 2, the square root of 1, and the square root of 0. Okay, so remember just count 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, take the square roots. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide these roots by 2. Okay, so the square root of the numbers divided by 2. So what are we going to get? Square root of the numbers divided by 2. Now the square root of 4 is 2. So we're going to divide that by 2. The square root of 3 is root 3, cannot be reduced, so we divide that by 2. Square root of 2 is root 2, cannot be reduced, so we just divide it by 2. The square root of 1 is 1, so we just divide that by 2. The square root of 0 is 0, and we divide that by 2. Okay? So what we have generated are the um, unit circle coordinate values. So what we're going to do now is just simply simplify. What is 2 over 2? 2 over 2 is 1. Root 3 over 2 cannot be simplified any further, so we'll leave it as root 3 over 2. Root 2 over 2 in is, is in its simplified form, so we leave it as root 2 over 2. 1 over 2 cannot be simplified any further. 1 over 2. 0 over 2 can be simplified to 0. So guess what? We've generated the x-coordinate values of the points on the unit circle for quadrant 1, starting from the positive x all the way to the positive y. Now how do you generate the y-coordinate values? All you simply do is just rewrite these numbers in the reverse order. Okay, so for the y, you have 0, because you have 0 down here, you have 1 half, 1 half, and then root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, and 1. Okay, so you give yourselves a nice little coordinate pairing here, and you have the points for the first quadrant of the unit circle. Alright, so what are the degree values that we're talking about? Um, this is for 0 degrees, <coughs> 0 degrees, this is for 30 degrees, this point right here is for 45 degrees, this is for 60 degrees, and this point right here is for 90 degrees. Okay, so let me show you um, these points in action real quick so you can see how convenient it is. So what we're basically going to do put that in view, is create our coordinate system. I'm just going to do the first quadrant. Create our coordinate system. 
put in the circle. Now remember, this is a unit circle, right? So if you go in any direction to the circumference of the circle is one unit. So if you go from the center in the x direction to this point, this point right here is 1 comma 0. If you go up to this point right here, it's going to be 0 for the um, x, 1 for the y. In the unit circle, there are three points in each quadrant. So what are the coordinate values? All we just simply do is copy down these values that we got in the circle. Okay, so starting from 1, 0, 1, 0 is right here. We have root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. The next one for 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2. The next one is going to be 1 half, comma, root 3 over 2. Guess what the final point is? 0, 1, 0, 1. Bam. Okay? So you just follow the same pattern. Remember for this quadrant, both coordinate values are positive, plus, plus. And then when you're going in this direction, you're going to negative 1, 0. The x's have a negative coordinate value and the y have a positive. Just follow the same sequence of numbers. 0, 1 half, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, and 1. Just follow the same pattern over and over again to generate these points. The ones in this quadrant will be will have positive y's and negative x's. In quadrant 3, both of them will be negative. And then in quadrant 4, um, this point right here, you're going down, so it's going to be 0, negative 1. The y's will be negative and the x's will be positive. Okay, so this is just a short tutorial. The focus here basically is to help you see a nice convenient way to remember these coordinates that are basically the reference angle coordinate points for your unit circle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. As indicated earlier, you can look at the description if you would like to gain access to um, a PDF copy of the unit circle in order to practice how to generate the unit circle. In our YouTube page, we also have a tutorial explaining how to generate the entire unit circle if you're interested in that also. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your memorization of the unit circle, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely important to us. we we'll also like to know what you think about this um, presentation, or if you have any questions in general about the unit circle or any um, pre-calc or algebra concept, just place your questions in the comments section below, and we'll be more than glad to su support you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. And do visit our website at mathgotserve.com. We have a wide variety of online learning resources to support you in mastering um, your math concepts. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.